Hey, what is up, you guys? It is Chromat here. Today, I'm coming at you with another video. This time, I'm going to be talking about scale modes or musical modes. Now, um, it's kind of a funny story how I got into this because I started researching composing for music, uh, composing music for movies and video games. And a lot of, a lot of uh, orchestral pieces, those huge blockbuster orchestral pieces, uh, rely on so much music theory that I that I you know did like a lot of research and I realized I came to a few epiphanies and one of them was actually the use of different types of modes now prior to my research I had a firm undergrad un I have a firm grasp of musical modes I just didn't exactly know how to apply them until I came across a few videos especially by Rick Beato thank you Rick about uh, <laughs> about um, how to apply these these scales so or these modes so let's go through these these seven modes in order uh, the first mode that we have is in the case in the context of C major is the Ionian mode which is the C major scale <laughs> Which is the which is if you if C is the Ionian, the Dorian would be would start off on the second, which is the D. And before I continue, you uh, before watching this video, you should have a firm under uh, understanding of. Sorry if you guys hear noises in the back. You guys should have a firm understanding of scales and whole steps and half steps and major thirds and fifths and things like that and the number of the notes in the scale so if we are playing the Ionian the root note or the one would be C and then two would be D three would be E and so on and so forth so once again the Ionian starts off with this in this case of C major would be C and then to the Dorian would start off on the two the Phrygian on the third the uh, Lydian the Mixolydian the Aeolian and the Locrian now um, even though I said that I was playing these in the context of C major as I went up as I went up through the different scale modes it it stopped being in C major the only one of these scale modes that's in C, C major is the Ionian really or the key of C would be Ionian if I wanted to play C Dorian it would look something like this If I want to play C Phrygian, it would look something like this. And then C Lydian. And so on and so forth. So the important thing to take away from these scales is not is not the um, is not the starting point in the case of the Ionian which is very confusing because that's what I thought because when I was playing and I when I was playing chords in C major I thought that if I wanted to play Dorian I would have to start off on the second base my entire composition on the second note of the C major which is the D which I don't think is a case so so the important thing to take away is not the is not necessarily the starting note of the Ionian scale, but more as if the the whole and half steps of each individual scale. So let's take a look at D Dorian, which is which is in the key of C major, in, in the key of C, but starting on the second. So let's take a look at the whole steps and half steps. So from D Dorian, we got the root note with the tonic. And the whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. So, if we wanted to play in C Dorian, we would start off on the tonic, 
and we would apply the same whole steps and half steps in the same order to get the C Dorian scale. Whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. And same thing applies to the Phrygian. If we were going to play E Phrygian, which has a which has a key signature of C, would be root note, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. And if we wanted to apply the C Phrygian to, if we wanted to apply the Phrygian scale to C, we start off with a tonic, and then take the same whole steps and half steps in the same order to get the C Phrygian. So tonic, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. So pretty much the same idea applies to all the scales. Just take your just take your scales, whole steps and half steps, and apply them to whatever key that you want to play. Another important distinction to know is that the scale, the scale mode that you are using, does not apply to your key signature. So say if we were going to play, well, let me rephrase, let me rephrase that. The scale mode that you are using still needs to have the Ionian key signature, if that makes any sense. So, I don't, I don't think that made any more sense than my previous explanation, but let me demonstrate. Say we wanted to play C Phrygian. Since we know that the Phrygian is the third, is the, starts off on the major third of the Ionian, we know that the key signature is actually in A flat. Because the Ionian scale of A flat is So we will be using the same key signature as A flat, but instead we will be playing C Dorian. So I hope that made sense. Um, the next thing that we are going to cover is mode modulation. Now what is mode modulation? Mode modulation is essentially switching in between modes. So, so I am going to be playing uh, I'm going to be playing a series of chords and then I want you to try to pick out when the mode modulation happens. up a few times there but there was mode modulation happening there so if you um, before I go into any further notice that how when I was playing the first two chords you don't really understand which mode I am using because just you can narrow it down but it can be kind of difficult to pick out because I could be playing either either C Phrygian or C Aeolian just based off of these first two chords <laughs> that the same notes that I'm using are both in C Phrygian and C Aeolian. But when I get to the third chord, you'll know that I'm using C Phrygian because the, the flat second is not in the Aeolian scale. That's the Aeolian. I'm actually playing C Phrygian. So we we narrowed it down to the main key being in C Phrygian, or the main scale being in C Phrygian. Now 
Now, what ended up happening there was I modulated from um, from C Phrygian to C Aeolian with a bit of additional flair using the flat using uh, the flat the the flat one as well, which in this case is the B that I'm using. How you know how do you know that I modulated from C Phrygian to C Aeolian well it's not magic so if you know the key if you know the notes that are played in C C Phrygian and C Aeolian uh, sorry C A that was C, Aeol A C Aeolian sorry and this is C Phrygian right here the one key difference is the D. Because I played the D, you know that I modulated from C A from C Phrygian to C Aeolian. Now let's hear that second part again. Or let's hear the whole entire thing together. You need context. last chord is the modulation from C Phrygian to C Aeolian. Anyway, hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, be sure to like this video, subscribe for more content, and if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please be sure to list, list them down in the comments below. And as always, you guys, have a nice day.